What's happening, people? And once again, welcome back to youtube.com forward slash Cubcam TV for this, another edition of Cub Reacts on a Wednesday morning. Very excited to be getting into this one as we check out the latest banger from Sarko D off his brand new Jams album project. This one featuring the inevitable vocals of Benson, one of the best collaborators in the game right now. He always arrives with either a killer hook or a killer verse. So I'm very excited to see how this one sounds. It goes by the name Better Days. And again, this is an edition of the uh, Jams project, which has been so fun to listen through and break down here on the channel as always friends if you are new to the channel do make sure you're getting involved by hitting that subscribe button on the right hand side of the page of course turning notifications on as well leaving a like leaving a comment and all of that good stuff we are hurtling forward in the subscriptions it looks like we're gonna hit 59k by the end of the week and we can do that with your help so please do get involved but for now we're gonna jump into this video and see exactly how it's sounding let's go <laughs> Loving the little bird song effect. TSP again. I'm so working real hard on a Saturday. My future, I don't see from my love. No, we don't got down me. I will go back to So, from the jump, this is a very, very full instrumental. There's a lot of bass action going on in the lower end. There's a lot of kind of spaciness as well um, within a lot of the instrumentation. I'm loving the kind of usage of birdsong and things like that on this, just giving it this very kind of fluttery, atmospheric feel. But then on top of that as well, you have then got Benson's vocals, which do have this natural kind of chorus, in fact, about them when they layer up. They just give it this very wide feel. But again, TSB on production, man. I'm hearing his name everywhere at the moment, and it's great to see the guy is so cold when it comes to um, or just production in general. Now I thought I would make it. I used to dream for better days. In some of doors, I just want to get away. Who really cares what a hater got to say? Life gave me lemons. I tell them the lemonade's like. Money with the chase, deep toss, my pimo dosa Kevin. So it's a nice transition between the introduction and ben, uh, between Benson's introduction, sorry, and Sarkodi's first introductory verse. Um, again, lyric wise, looking like a sort of very kind of classic sort of rap story. The idea of, oh, I didn't think I'd ever get there. Um, life wasn't going too well, so I tried to make the best of it. That sort of storyline is looking like what we're going for rap wise um, from Sarkodi. Again, I like the introduction from Benson, but I do feel it's a little bit kind of too full over that hook section. That might just be me, and it may try to change as, um, as the track progresses. But the first one felt a little bit kind of too much too quickly. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. But let's go. Thank God for your compassion and all your grace. Heaven is the peace in your heart. It's not a place. I gave him my all. I slept on the floor. I take risk anytime I step out of the door. Send me can I do them bad and I'm breaking the law. Anything about the money, I'm getting involved. They told me not to dream big. This thing is bigger than dreams. Ten story building, we're talking a couple beams. Tough skin, go get the money by any means. My mama motivation, my mama said me post the memes. Time changes from Subin to Wabi Road. So Sarkodi, rap-wise, is absolutely killing this. And the main thing about Sarkodi, as I've kept saying, is his ability to rap with a level of intensity, a level of skippiness, but also maintaining that sort of lyric-based uh, consistency as well. He doesn't strive into kind of overusing multisyllabic structures. He literally just does multisyllabics, and they work really, really nicely. He's so good at kind of structuring verses, so they have this natural kind of free-flowing feel. Um, and it never sounds like he's literally going from one syllable to the next one-syllable word. It always sounds like every single word he uses has five or six syllables all just stacked up perfectly arranged in regards to actual kind of structuring his vocals are, are some of the best that i've heard in the world if we're being entirely honest that ability to just have that super skippy flow without it sounding forced that's so difficult to do a lot of rappers think it's easy to do and they sound terrible but sarkodi doesn't it's not easy to do trust me the carry load she can have my jet down when i sand you gold little boy with some money you know how the story goes i'm so working real hard on such a day my future i don't see from my love <laughs> hook is growing on me, as I thought it would do. I was destined to make it but again, it's short and sweet, the hook on this tune. It isn't like too much. It doesn't kind of stick around for too long. Um, it's literally... Again, very kind of... Uh, a lot of movement going on. Up and down the up and down the scales from Benson on this one. Again, I feel the transition into it isn't the cleanest, but the transition out is very clean. Um, 
And again, I feel like this might be Benson almost going a little bit too far with it. It just feels like his vocal is a little bit rushed um, rather than um, the sort of more natural kind of catchy vocals that we've been we've been growing used to hearing from him. Um, again, this might just be a personal thing and it might be just because Sarkozy's verse is so clean, it's making the hook sound a little bit muddy. But again, I want to hear your thoughts on this one, guys. I'm not trying to hate. I'm literally pointing out... Um, in comparison to kind of previous Benson tunes we've heard in at least recent times. Did I love it? Yes, I'm blessed. Nothing you can do about it. And we know empty barrels are always the loudest. Got myself a Lamborghini, it's dropping in August. Used to hang around the corner 2003. With Chevy Deuce, still I had me young love on the street. I remember how it hold me to sleep in the heat. Now they gotta pay me just to sleep in a beautiful suite. I thought I told you I was gonna be one of the best. I spoke to Beehive, can I get Jay on a text? That's some boss talk, and you can hate on the flex. I don't need the middle. Yeah, that little rhythm that he uses on there that that's the sort of syllabic structure he's using and that's such like a classic sounding Sarkozy rhythm um and he's nailing it there's no getting away from it he is absolutely nailing his vocal on this one again lyric wise it's not the kind of most unique story um it's essentially the idea of kind of not of having a difficult time gr becoming a rapper. That's pretty much what I'm interpreting it as, which uh, happens to most people. But he does have a way of kind of dressing it up and giving it this kind of, again, easy listenable factor without it kind of detracting from how um, how the tune's structured. You know, he can make it skippy, but he can make it still make sense at the same time. I cannot, I cannot stress how difficult that is to do to this degree. I pay all the checks. Oh, this is heaven to me. I came from nothing. All this money you see came from rapping. Everybody follow my lead because I ain't stopping. Man, they said they're harder than me. Them homies copping. And hey, everything is okay. On a jet to LA. Because I'm time because I'm late. And I'm still getting paid. What's the point when you hate? Because I got food on the plate. Think you made a mistake. And that's the half of your fate. Uh, money over. What else? Got the Mercedes for the missus. Dead wounds. But you can see the stitches. So as the story progresses on this, we are now hearing obviously about the successes that Sarkozy is now landing and obviously talking about the Mercedes, the like the nice houses he's now staying in and things like that. And that's cool. I like the fact we have got all that sort of level of progression and we have actually got the title of Better Days kind of worked into the actual theme of the tune. We've kind of heard the journey from the worst days to the better days. And again, it's something that Sarkozy seems to do so effortlessly. He has this ability to just transform um, a tune from start to finish. And again, his, his vocal is really the highlight this one for me i'm not necessarily disappointed in benson but i don't necessarily think it adds much to the overall arrangement and again benson's one of my favorites um i i'd safely say that he's got some of my favorite releases of the year so i don't know maybe this one's just not hitting sonically for me Gina grants and all your wishes you gotta work yeah interesting man it is quite interesting the overall feel of the of the hook i don't know the overall hook of the, the the feel of the hook just feels a little bit kind of rushed it feels almost too cookie cutter which is difficult to say surrounding benson because he is so not a cookie cutter artist but i don't know it just feels like the, that they've kind of gone do a benson style hook and he's gone okay and and this is what where they've ended up i don't know whether it's because the bass line is a lot heavier over the hook and his vocal seems to clash with it but I don't know, it just feels like it, it's a little bit kind of mashed together than, rather than it should be. But there we go. We'll let it run through to the end and then give it our final breakdown. I have enjoyed this one, don't get me wrong. And there we go then. Sarkozy, Better Days, featuring Benson. An unusual collaboration. Um, one that I feel could have been stronger. I think Sarkozy is definitely the kind of highlight of this track. I think his verse structure is great. I think his rap ability is really on showcase here. Um, the hook's fine. But I don't know. It just doesn't feel like it kind of elevates the tune in any way. It almost feels like it could just be a bridge. Um... I feel like there's all, it's almost been overproduced as well. It feels like his vocal isn't kind of standing out as much as it should do. Um, but again, this is no disrespect on Benson. I do really like what Benson does. And normally when I hear a Benson hook, I'm all over it. But for me, I don't know, this one just falls a little bit flat. But again, guys, let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. We do try to be as honest as we can with a lot of these tunes. I always try to find the positives. Um, but occasionally, um, we, are kind of, we do kind of end up with something that we just aren't that keen on. And that's what it is. So there we go. As I said, let me know your thoughts on this tune in the comment section down below. And as always, if you're new to 
the channel, make sure you're getting involved by hitting that subscribe button on the right-hand side of the page. Of course, turning notifications on as well, leaving a like, leaving a comment, and all of that good stuff. And we shall see you all next time. Peace. This is Aaron Glitch and you're tuning into the sounds of Kovu right now. You already know the thing. Bad Boy Selector. Alright, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go.